everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be talking about some popular books that I haven't read yet. So this past year, I have been awful with keeping up with new releases, and there have been so many that everyone has been talking about, and they have seen, like, instant popularity, and I just haven't read them yet. So I have some books from this year, I have some books from all of the years, I just have a lot of books here that everyone seems to be talking about, and I can't be in on the conversation because I haven't read them yet. So I'll start off with the ones that I don't own. So first is the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare. This is very controversial because I'm gonna be honest, I loved the Shadowhunter world when I read it when I was in like grade nine. I really enjoyed it and then they came out with the other three books and I read those and like they were good but I feel like books just keep on coming out and if you enjoy it like more power to you, it's fine. I'm not like bashing you or anything. I just am kind of not interested in the Shadowhunter world anymore. I know everyone hates me instantly but that's just my opinion and remember, I give my opinion doesn't mean yours is wrong, it's an opinion. So the Dark Artifices series has never really been anything of interest to me, to be honest. Part of me has heard it's really good, so I'm kind of like, maybe, but they're also really big books, and I just know there are so many other books that I would rather read at this point that I don't know if this is one that I will ever get to. Now for the remaining viewers who didn't get really mad at that and are still watching, the next book is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. This book has been out for, I feel like, a couple of years now there's a second book out now. I don't know if that's it for the series. I don't know, but I know that the people who love this series, like, really, really love it. They're very passionate about it, and for some reason, I just never felt inclined to pick it up. I don't really know why. Like, I've heard that Jay Kristoff's writing style in that book is very different and interesting, so I don't know if it would mesh well with me. I don't know if that's why I haven't picked it up yet. Whatever the reason, I just haven't really felt like I've wanted to, but that's one that I'm not really entirely closed off to. I think that maybe one day I might pick it up, but I've just heard so many mixed reviews that I'm a bit nervous, and there's just other books that I'm kind of prioritizing before that one. Next is one that I think I actually unhauled in my recent unhauls, and that's because I tried reading it a couple of times, and it just, it never really meshed with me. I gave it so many chances, I really wanted to like it, but ultimately I ended up losing interest in the storyline, and that is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I really wish that I could have gotten on board with this series because I know a lot of people really loved it, but I tried reading it physically because it really blew up when it first came out, and then I tried listening to the audiobook, and neither way really worked for me, so finally when I was doing my unhauls, I was just like, it's it, like, it's not gonna happen, so why just keep it on my shelf when it can go to someone who will actually love it and actually read it? Next is the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. This is definitely one that I would really like to read at some point because I've heard nothing but good things about it, like, endlessly, and I did at one point own it, but I got a used copy, so I think I ended up getting rid of it, and I was thinking to myself, like, eventually I'll buy, like, an actual copy, but I can entirely pinpoint why I haven't read this yet, and it is, one, because it has so much hype surrounding it, and two, it is big. Like, all of the books in the series are big. I don't love big books. I know a lot of people do, but I like something where it's quick and I can read it easily, and I think that's because I have so many books that I want to read, so when I'm reading a really big book, I have the awful mentality of being, like, I could have read, like, three books in this time, so I hate that I do that, but that's definitely the case with Brandon Sanderson. He has some really, really big books, but so many people on booktube have read Mistborn, and I've heard such amazing things about it that I feel like I definitely do want to get to it. I started reading it at one point, actually, and I just never really got into the story. I was reading it on the plane to England when I went a couple of years ago, but then I was, like, traveling, so I didn't actually end up finishing it, and I just haven't gotten back to it again, but hopefully I will soon. Next is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is one that just never really really has caught my interest. There are a lot on this list that, like, I do want to get to. Like, all the ones that I own, I do want to get to. It just happens to be, I'm starting with the ones that I don't know if I'll get to. But Red Rising is definitely one where it's gotten a lot of hype, and I just don't think it's something that is my taste anymore. I don't generally enjoy dystopian anymore. I feel like it was one of those fad things, and there are quite a few dystopians that I read and I liked, and there are some that I've read more recently that I have enjoyed, but for the most part, I find that I'm gravitating towards 
other things other than dystopian and sci-fi. It's just not really my genre and I believe that Red Rising is dystopian. I don't really know. I just know I was kind of like meh. Next is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is another case of a book where it is huge. It is like an epic fantasy and it's one of those that I would really like to read before I die. I just like I might be on my deathbed reading it because it is very very intimidating. That's actually the same case with Game of Thrones which I haven't read yet and it's one that I'm kind of torn on if I will ever read it. I never got into the TV show. I'm not a big TV show person so it just never really meshed with me. Like the second that I saw the dire wolves I knew that things were gonna happen to them and I can't handle bad things happening to animals so I never watched it. Next is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This is a very popular series on booktube and off of booktube and it's just one that I'm like mildly interested in but once again the books are huge. Like absolutely huge. I just never understand why the book has to be that big and that's why I never read it. I don't know. So now getting to all of the books that I already own. So first is And I Darken by Kirsten White. This book was really popular when it first came out. It has a lot of mixed reviews I feel like but a lot of people really love it and it's one that I very much wanted to read but I started listening to the audiobook and it just didn't really mesh with me. I wasn't really following along with the story that well so then I was like I think I need to physically read it but now I just haven't physically read it especially because audiobooks have been my life recently. So I don't know when I will get to this but I know I would really like to because I have heard some really amazing things about it. Next is the ever so popular Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I feel like I heard nothing about this book and then all of a sudden it blew up and it was everywhere and people were like raving about it. So this is definitely one of those books that I'm like can it live up to the hype because the hype is ridiculous. Honestly the hype is so ridiculous that I bought this book knowing nothing about it. I believe it takes place in old Hollywood. Like I don't really know what it's about. I was just like so many people have been raving about it that I want to know what it's all about. I want to know why they love it so much. So I just bought it sight unseen and was like we'll see how it goes and hopefully soon I will see how it is. Next is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. This is a book that one of my co-workers read and compared it to Akotar, which I'm intrigued by but it is a fairy tale retelling and the sequel came out recently. I don't know if it's like a direct sequel. I think it's a companion but either way there's two books. Now this is one that I definitely want to read and I feel like for some reason I've been saving it for like winter. I have no explanation for why but like that's kind of the deal. So winter is almost here. Winter is coming. I do know Game of Thrones references still. So then I will read this book. Next is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. All of the throngs of people are yelling at me for not having read this book yet but like the thing is I'm an awful person and if you tell me to do something it makes me not want to do it. So people keep on telling me like you need to read Carry On and I'm like do I need to? No. So I just haven't yet. Like I think where I'm skeptical and this is very controversial but the fact that like in Fangirl it seems like it's kind of based on Harry Potter which obviously like I'm not saying that she plagiarized or anything but I'm interested to see like how it will depart from that you know? I know obviously that it does like it's made into its own story and I know this is a very very popular book and there's probably a reason for that but I just haven't wanted to pick it up and I think it's mostly because so many people have been yelling at me to pick it up so then I don't want to. So if you don't yell at me, I will probably get to this soon. I actually did start listening to the audiobook when I was in California and then I got distracted by something else. That's been happening a lot this year. That never used to happen. Like I used to start a book and then I would see it through to the end. But now I've just been getting distracted by things and it is a struggle. So that was the case with this book. I started the audiobook and I was really enjoying it. Like I was really into it. So I will hopefully, maybe I will get to this in November. I don't know. I have so many books to read. It is an eternal struggle struggle. Next is a book that I'm really hoping to get to in November because it is ridiculous that I haven't read this book yet and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I can't believe I haven't read this yet because so many people love it. Everyone's talking about it. I don't know why I decided to make that a little tune there that was awful. I'm sorry to your ears but I have wanted to read this since before it came out. I was like dying to get my hands on an arc and they like didn't really send out a lot of arcs and then it just went wild like in pop culture in general 
people, a lot of people were talking about this, not just in the book world. And I want to know why, like I want to know what all the hype is about, but I just, it's such a big book and it's fantasy and I haven't had the time or the energy to really dedicate myself to a big chunky fantasy because I'm trying to edit and revise my own fantasy. So if you hadn't already gotten the hint from the Halloween decorations that are in the background, this video was filmed at like the beginning of October. I was still working on revisions and also the moral of the story of this video is that I'm lazy and can't read big books. So fake reader. I find it really hard to read when I'm writing or revising in this case fantasy. I can't read the same genre if that makes sense. It's not because I'm worried about plagiarism or anything like that. It's because I get very drained. Fantasy is a really hard genre for me to read and to write. I love writing it. Like I had a really great time writing Book of Sisters and I love reading it too, but it does take a lot out of me. I can't read it nearly as quickly as I will read a contemporary. So that is why this has been sitting here forever. Also the hype is so high that I'm once again really worried it won't live up to it so like we'll see. And the final popular book I haven't gotten to yet is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I feel like with the sequel Arch Enemies coming out I've heard more and more about this book and once again started it didn't finish it and like I don't know why I keep on doing that. I need to just commit but I'm having commitment issues okay. So like I hope I can get to this because the concept intrigues me so much. It's kind of like superhero stuff. I feel like I was like halfway into this and then I was like that's enough apparently we're gonna move on to something else why do I do this I don't know but hopefully I'll get to this soon so those are all of the popular books that I haven't read yet I can't believe that I haven't read some of these but other ones I just don't know if I want to read them maybe you can convince me probably not because I kind of have my mindset usually but never say never now most of the books on this list were young adult actually it was kind of a good mix but I also have a video that either has gone up or will be going up soon I don't really know. I'm trying to pre-film videos for NaNoWriMo, hence the Halloween decorations. But either way, I will link that video whenever it comes out. In that video, I'll be talking about my book bucket list. So those will be the books that I want to read before I kick the bucket. And that list is a little bit more of like classics and another good mix of books. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button and then click that bell icon so you will be notified whenever I post. I put up new videos every Monday, no, every other Monday and every Wednesday and Friday and every Tuesday I participate in the bookmarked live show but all that information and stuff will be down below for you guys because that got real confusing. You can also follow me on all of my social media all my handles links all that jazz will be down below as well but thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!